In today's news for you, it is more than just a race. The Columbia Marathon has a financial and image impact on South Carolina's capital city. Dan Hartley is the race director. And wow, this time last year, you and I sat here and talked about it being the first year. Right. It was hugely successful. And now you're back this year with another one. Right. So as far as the impact on the capital city with the image, right. what do you see has been happening with this over the last year? Well, I think the, I think the the overall morale of the running community. It's pretty cool to have a have a marathon and an event of this magnitude in our own home city, as opposed to having to go to out, out of state or other cities uh, within the state, Myrtle Beach or Charleston or Greenville or whatnot. So, with us being the the capital city, the largest city in the state, it's nice to have our our own marathon and large event here. So, and, it's you, cool. and you're playing off being the capital city with the finish going right up to the state house. Uh, absolutely, the finish line is. Right at the right at the intersection of Main and Gervais Streets, and the, all the after you know post race festivities will literally be on the north lawn of the State House. The awards, are, you know, all the awards will do it right on the steps of the State House. Obviously, you and I get excited about stuff yeah. like this because of our love for running. But for the mm -hmm. viewers watching who aren't into running but mm -hmm. do like that atmosphere of just being active and getting their whole family involved, mm -hmm. there's a great opportunity for them through volunteering. Absolutely, yeah. We the, in order the the. The Columbia Marathon and the, and the whole event, the whole weekend, absolutely could not take place without the help of you know my dedicated race staff of roughly 15 volunteers that work with me year round, and then an additional 500 or so volunteers uh, that work real closely with us in those days leading up to Friday during the expo, and then at the uh, then during the race day itself. So volunteers you would need would be people who would what stand out and pass out water well, or what? Exactly. We, you know, we've got 11 different aid stations, water stops throughout the course. So you know, we have about 15 people at each one of those. But fortunately, uh, Aflac is one of is our volunteer sponsor. Man, they've they've come through and they have over 100 volunteers just straight from from their company, and they've uh, they've. Pretty much taking care of all the aid stations. Uh, where we need to, uh, probably the most help with volunteers right now is course marshals. You know, spread out throughout the course, mm -hmm. just overseeing, just making sure from a safety standpoint, helping out the yeah, helping out the Columbia PD. So uh, we could certainly use help with course marshals throughout the. Absolutely. Ooh, let me show the full screens then, real right. quickly, Dan, as we wrap up here. It's mm -hmm. Saturday, March 9th on Sumter Street, uh, starting at the Town Theater there in Columbia. That's the right. start. First start is at 7:30. Again, a, a full marathon, a half marathon, 5K, and a kids marathon. All the details are on the Big Red 10. And then the Expo the day before, in fact, WIS, uh, some of us will be out there working that. It'll be at the Columbia Downtown Marriott on Hampton Street. All the details again on the Big Red 10. Dan, right. looking forward to it again. Thanks so again much, this Johnny. Year. Good Appreciate job. your interest. Thank you. Well, time now to